Okay, so we've cast out the indicator chronomid pupa. We're letting the chronomid pupa sink now so it's straight up and down under the strike indicator. And once she's suspended there, I just want to do the occasional every maybe 10 to 15 seconds, a couple quick pulls like that, just to make the pupa swim a little erratically in the water. So it's not hanging there just like all the other real chronic pupa are doing it. You want to make it swim just slightly erratically and that'll grab the, often grab the attention of a feeding trout. There's a fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. So I'm going to wet my net. I haven't been in the water yet today just to get soft material, soft, even softer. There we go. And I'm just going to have a quick look. in there. Oh, this is great. So we can catch another fish now. We know what they're eating now. Let's throw it back out there and uh, try that black and red. The ice cream cone, the Kelly Davis and ice cream cone. Or we can even try the, the reddish brown and silver one that we tied as well because there's a pretty good match in there as well. And they're all alive. That's the neat thing about when you do a proper throat pump on a fish. You can get exactly what was in their esophagus before it went down into their stomach because they're all alive.